Insect Superpowers, Chemical Warfare Edition. Think superheroes are just in comic books? Think again. Nature's been running its own Marvel Universe for hundreds of millions of years, except instead of capes and laser eyes. These heroes use chemical sprays, boiling butts, exploding bodies, and acid bombs. Welcome to Insect Superpowers, Chemical Warfare Edition. Buckle up, because it's going to get weird, gross, and surprisingly impressive. Chapter 1. The Bombardier Beetle. The Original Butt Blaster. Let's start with the A-lister. The Bombardier Beetle. Picture a modest little ground beetle. Brown, not flashy, hiding under logs or stones. It looks harmless, but if you annoy it, this beetle becomes nature's flamethrower. Inside its abdomen are two chemical storage tanks. One with hydroquinones, the other with hydrogen peroxide. On their own, they're boring. Oh. But when the beetle mixes them in a special reaction chamber, boom, a violent chemical reaction takes place, releasing a boiling hot spray of benzoquinone at around 100 degrees Celsius, hot enough to scald, and ejected with an audible pop. Scientists once described the beetle's rear as a tiny chemical cannon. Personally, I'd call it the deadliest whoopee cushion ever. What's more, the beetle doesn't just spray blindly. It can aim this butt blast in almost any direction even over its back. Researchers filmed bombardier beetles doing this in slow motion, and it looks like someone fitted a fire hose nozzle to their behinds. Predators like frogs and ants quickly learn that this beetle is not worth the hassle. In fact, there are documented cases where a frog spat out a beetle after getting scorched. Talk about a mic drop escape. Chapter 2. Wood Ants. Perfume Bottles of Doom. Next up, the wood ants, particularly the red wood ant of Europe. These little guys may be tiny, but they come in armies of thousands. Their weapon? Formic acid. If threatened, they raise their abdomens and spray jets of this acid in fine mist. Individually, a single squirt isn't devastated, but picture a thousand ants simultaneously spritzing acid at a predator. It's like being pepper sprayed by an army. To smaller arthropods, it's lethal. To larger enemies, it's at least irritating enough to send them packing. Fun fact. Formic acid actually gets its name from formica, the Latin word for ant. In other words, ants are literally acid factories that lent their name to chemistry. Ant. And humans, in typical human fashion, even found uses for it. Farmers use formic acid as a preservative for livestock feed. But when ants use it, it's not about preserving hay. It's about making intruders regret every life choice that led them into the ant nest. If the insect avengers had a coordinated attack, wood ants would be the ones yelling, Ready, aim, spray! Chapter 3. Exploding Termites. The Goo Bomb Martyrs. Ants aren't the only ones with wild defenses. Some termites, especially in Asia, have evolved into walking glue bombs. Soldier termites often live longer than workers, and when they grow old, they develop enlarged glands full of sticky, toxic chemicals. When an enemy invades the nest, the termite contracts its abdomen so violently that it ruptures, releasing this lethal goo. The goo doesn't just poison enemies. It traps them, clogging up their joints and jaws. Imagine trying to fight while covered in glue and acid. You're not winning that battle. Of course, the termite itself doesn't survive. Scientists call this behavior autothysis, meaning self-sacrifice by self-destruction. I call it the insect equivalent of pulling the pin on yourself to take down the enemy. These termite martyrs are often compared to immune cells in a human body, cells that sacrifice themselves to stop an infection. In other words, the colony is the organism, and one exploding soldier is just doing its part to save the whole. Noble? Yes. Gross? Also yes. Effective? Absolutely. Chapter 4. The Exploding Ants of Borneo. Spicy Mustard Bombs. Speaking of self-sacrifice, let's meet the headline grabbers. The exploding ants of Borneo, or Colobopsis explodens. These ants live in massive colonies high in the rainforest canopy, where predators constantly test their defenses. And boy do these ants have a defense. When threatened, small worker ants literally blow themselves up. By violently contracting their abdominal muscles, they rupture their bodies releasing a bright yellow sticky goo. The goo smells oddly like curry and works like toxic superglue, coating, immobilizing, and poisoning enemies. The ant dies instantly, but the colony survives. 
Scientists describe them as extremely prone to self-sacrifice. Translation. They blow themselves up at the slightest hint of danger. Even when researchers just poked the colony with a stick. If the Insect Superhero League had a Hulk, this would be it. Small, unassuming, and then, boom! Yellow goo everywhere. Oh, and the big, major workers in the colony? They don't explode, but they've evolved shield-shaped heads to literally block nest entrances like living doorstops. Between goo bombs and head shields, this colony is basically a medieval fortress in miniature. Chapter 5. Other Bug Chemists. The list doesn't stop there. Insects have been cooking up chemical weapons for eons, and evolution has given us a smorgasbord of bizarre tricks. Darkling beetles, also called stink beetles, raise their rear and spray a smelly quinone-rich liquid. It's not lethal to humans but makes predators gag. Blister beetles produce cantharidin, a toxin so potent that even touching it can blister skin. In ancient times, cantharidin was misused as a so-called love potion. But in reality, it's more of a medieval torture chemical. Rove beetles have flexible abdomens that smear toxic secretions onto enemies. They're like the graffiti artists of the bug world. Leave your mark, and it burns. Everywhere you look, insects are mixing acids, alkaloids, and sticky polymers in ways that would make a chemistry lab jealous. Chapter 6. Why Chemical Weapons Work So why so much chemistry in the insect world? The answer is simple. Size. Small creatures can't always rely on brute force or speed to fight predators. Chemistry levels the playing field. Predators, like birds, frogs, or lizards, think they've got an easy meal, only to end up gagging, blinded, or even burned. Once a predator learns that a certain bug equals pain, it usually avoids that species for life. That's a survival jackpot for the insect's genes. And these weapons aren't just defensive. Some insects use chemicals offensively. Ants use formic acid to subdue prey. Assassin bugs coat their legs in sticky resin to trap victims. And some wasps use venom that literally rewires a cockroach's brain. If that's not supervillain energy, I don't know what is. Chapter 7. Pop Culture Parallels It's no surprise that insect superpowers inspire human imagination. The exploding ants alone sound like something straight out of a comic book. If Marvel wrote them, the bombardier beetle would be Captain Combustion, the ants would be the Acid Avengers, and the termites, well, maybe Glue Gun Squad. And let's be honest, compared to a beetle that shoots boiling acid out of its rear, Spider-Man's webbing seems almost tame. Conclusion. The Bug Avengers Assemble. So there you have it. A roster of nature's tiniest chemical warriors. The Bombardier Beetle, firing boiling acid from its butt. The Wood Ant Army, spritzing formic acid in synchronized warfare. The Exploding Termites, glue bomb martyrs of the soil. The Exploding Ants of Borneo, curry-scented kamikazes of the canopy. And their supporting cast of stink beetles, blister beetles, and more. Each one a reminder that evolution doesn't need lasers or super serums to create superheroes. It just needs millions of years, some creative chemistry, and a lot of predators to fend off. So which insect gets your vote for ultimate chemical superhero? Drop it in the comments. And if you enjoyed this wild bug roster, hit like and subscribe for more journeys into nature's stranger than fiction side. And remember, the next time you see a beetle scuttling by, maybe don't poke it. Because in the insect world, even the smallest creatures pack the biggest explosions.